Okay, so we are continuing to talk about grammar rules. This is dated 112 from last week. Whoops. So we're just going to review these grammar rules and then you will practice on your own and I'll go over the answers. So understanding comma rules, determine which comma rule is demonstrated in each sentence and write the letter of the rule on the line. So A says use a comma to separate three or more items or elements in a series. So when we're making a list, we use a comma in between. Use a comma between two adjectives only when the first word and could be inserted in its place. When the word and could be inserted in its place, sorry. Use a comma before and after a word or phrase that renames the noun. Use a comma when a sentence begins with an introductory word or phrase such as well, yes, therefore, for example, or on the other hand, those are our transitions or transitional phrases. Use a comma between a city and a state and after the state if the sentence continues. Use a comma to separate the day of the month from the year and after the year. Use a comma when a sentence begins with a prepositional phrase, adverbial clause, or dependent clause. Use a comma to inter interrupt direct quotations or before or after a direct quotation. So down here, our sentences are, I don't want to go to school today, and Sarah said as she got, Sarah said as she got dressed. So write the letter on the line for the um, rule up here that you think applies there. Number two, on the other hand, we don't want to give away too many free items. So again, choose the letter, write it on the line for the example sentence there for number two. Number three, I want to buy cereal, rice, and milk at the grocery store. Which rule applies there? Number four, I live in Seattle, Washington, city, state. Which rule does that apply to? And last but not least, number five, on January 4th, 2000, I was born. Ah, oh, such a sweet baby. Okay, so if we go here back to number one, I don't want to go to school today. Well, these are quotations and we have a comma right there. So right here for H, that is <clears throat> our rule. Use a comma to interrupt direct quotes. Nope, we didn't do that before or after a direct quote. So it's um, at the end of our direct quote. On the other hand, so on the other hand is up here as our um, transitional phrase, so that would be D. I want to buy cereal, rice, and milk. We made a list, so that would be A. I live in Seattle, Washington. Washington is a state. Seattle is a city, comma, in between, so that is F. Number five, on January 4th, 2000, so we have a comma after the day and after the year, so that's here for F. Hopefully you got all of those correct. We'll continue practicing throughout the year.